Okay, you know how, like, people always say that movies come out on Fridays? Spoiler, they actually come out on Thursdays. I went to see this movie. Nobody was there except for me and these two hot girls. Shout out to you, by the way. You, you know who you are. I was sitting there. Those two girls, they left, like, an hour into the movie. They're the smart ones. Me, on the other hand, I sat through the rest of this movie. I was the only one there. I could use my phone as much as I wanted to. And I could just go send my sins on this movie's butt and just point out everything that was wrong with it. And I really reflected on my life choices. Oh, it's TVB, and I'm here today to review the fifth installment in the Ice Age franchise, Ice Age Collision Course. Which follows around, you know, the Ice Age gang. You got Manny the Mammoth, Diego the Sabertooth Cat, Sid the Slum. I'm not even going to talk about this movie's plot because it goes all over the place. All right, I love the first Ice Age movie, the one 2002. I grew up with that movie. It's one of my favorite anime movies of all time. The second Ice Age movie, I could, I didn't mind it. The third and fourth film, I was like, okay, it's just stupid. This, on the other hand, ah, I almost died of cringe. Look, the animation of this movie actually isn't that bad, nor is the voice acting. Like, they, there's a lot of, like, famous names in this movie. You, you know anime movies nowadays, they just cram in as many random celebrities as they can. Even Neil deGrasse Tyson makes a, an appearance in this movie, which is fitting when you think about it, because there's a giant asteroid that's going to collide with the Earth. But the story itself, I just, uh, it just, it got, it got the, it's got the really cliche family comedy treatment, to put it, to put it lightly. The main issue I have with this film is that there are way too many subplots that don't get enough focus. Like, there's romantic subplots where there's, like, love circles going around this Ice Age world, and it's cringe-inducing. The dialogue is, oh my gosh, like, the whole, like, snare where the girl falls over a guy, but the girl's parents are like, no, these two are, they, I don't like this son, so we had to do whatever we can to split them apart and keep her closer to us. Just, oh my god, we've seen it a hundred times. We don't care anymore. And there's, like, this other one where Buck, who's that, like, creepy weasel from the third film yeah like the this like asteroid like crashes into like the dinosaur world and th therefore a lot of the dinosaur creatures can escape including buck and there are these two dino birds after like dino birds seriously like dino birds are supposed to be like these villains like okay the ice age films after the first one like the sequels the villains are all just so lame and crash and eddie those two possums like oh my god they keep like bringing up puns and fart jokes and like all this like stuff that it's just it's not funny like maybe not even my the inner eight-year-old i have inside of me could like forgive these jokes like it was just, it's it's not funny i didn't like it and this is just ice age movie tradition but like scrat has a running gag in this movie look i never found scrat that funny Boo! get off the stage wait hey 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 you guys like scrat the saber tooth squirrel that's fine i just i just found him like this really stupid like thing that just tries burying this acorn when really he all he does is just like get into perilous situations that involve him like really getting all these like slapstick scenarios when he should have died in the first few minutes of the first film that somehow propelled the plot in whatever stupid sense needs to go and this one like it was more over the top than others and it was just no no no, no. it's this isn't funny and don't even get me started on this shangri llama guy Llamas don't have horns. And I keep bringing this up how this movie's just not funny. Like, you think animation companies try something new. Like, this movie just keeps following the same repeated gags you've seen a whole bunch of times. It's just like, they just don't learn. I mean, it's like the writer knew that this, like, just decided to make this, this movie script really cliche and stupid and unoriginal but hey it's an ice age movie it's gonna make loads of money who cares just go with it and director read it he's like okay this is terrible let's just go for it anyway mike this script is garbage how are we supposed to make a movie out of this okay they're gonna make loads of money uh you're smoking a pen okay they're gonna make loads of money uh, that makes sense yeah, while I was all by myself in that theater, I came up with that, too. But this movie, it just tries so hard to be, like, funny and hip and just cool, but it it isn't. This franchise just, it needs to go extinct already. 
And that's why I'm giving this movie a 1 out of 10 stars. It's a garbage film. <sighs> okay, tell me, what's your favorite Ice Age movie? Or what's your least favorite Ice Age movie? Comment below, let me know, and give this video a rating where you feel it deserves. Just have, subscribe. Have a nice day. Oh, and don't forget to like my Facebook page. I started a Facebook page just for the heck of it. Don't forget, I'll leave it in the description too. Yeah, see you guys later.